Hi, welcome to MonumentalMath.com. Today we'll be doing finding the slope given two points. Two points meaning an x and a y and another x and a y. To find the slope, you always take the second y minus the first y over the second x minus the first x. Actually, you could reverse it as long as you reverse both, the numerator and denominator. But this is the most prevalent formula that you're going to find for finding the slope. So that means we take the second y and subtract the first one. So on this one, the second y is 4 minus 0 over our second x minus our first one, so 4 minus 2. And then it's just do the math. 4 minus 0 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. Simplify your fraction so you get slope is 2. Next one, 2, 1, and 6, 4. You take your second y minus your first one. 4 minus 1 is 3. 6 minus 2 is 4, and you're done. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. Now, negative 3, 4, and a negative 4, 7. Your second y minus your first one. Your second x minus your first one. Oh, negative 4 minus negative 3. Subtraction of a negative is just like adding a positive. So it's just like adding a positive. Now, negative 4 and a positive 3 is negative 1. 3 over negative 1 is the same as negative 3. So your slope is negative 3. Next one, 5, 3, and 8, 6. You do your second y minus the first y. 6 minus 3, which is 3, over 8 minus 5, which is 3. 3 over 3 is 1, so your slope is 1. Next one, 6 minus 4 is 2. Negative 3 minus 2. Negative 3 minus 2. Subtraction is just like addition of the opposite. So we add, and that's a positive 2, so we make it be a negative 2. 2 stays the same in the numerator. Negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. And that's your slope, negative 2 fifths. Next one, we start with y2 minus y1, which is 0, 5 minus 5. And then negative 2 minus negative 4. Subtraction of a number is just like adding the opposite. Zero over anything is going to be zero. So you can have a slope of zero. It just means it's a horizontal line. Now you go ahead. Find the slope given two points. Good luck. Hope you enjoy the challenge.